first grade. Today in writing, we're going to keep going with our review, transferring our writing from our graphic organizer over to our paper. All right, let's get started. So today you're going to need your writing folder, and you're going to open up to your organizer. Just like this. Yesterday, we wrote the title, the topic, sentence, and opinion, our first reason, and detail. Today, we're going to write our second reason, the detail, and finish with our conclusion. Okay. So yesterday, I wrote, again, the start of my paper on my review. I'm going to keep working. So the last sentence I wrote said, Then one day Katie Sue came to school and everything changed. Now this is my last detail is my sneak peek. I'm going to be going to my second reason. But instead of starting at your first reason and then just jumping to your second reason, we need somewhere to connect those. We use our transition words. They kind of glue our paper together very nicely. So there's a lot of different transition words we can use, such as next, second, also, another reason. All these words that help connect our paper are called transition words. So I'm going to use the transition word, the second reason is, I think it makes the paper flow nicely. So I'm writing, the second reason is because... And my second reason is next to my star. So my second reason would be right here. It says because of the colorful pictures. Again, I'm going to write my sentence. Period. Stop. I'm looking for cups. Or cups. Making sure I have my capitalization. Organization. Organization our usage, the punctuation, and spelling. Okay, so now that I've written my reason, I'm going to add my detail. My detail is right here. It talks more about these colorful pictures. It's like, okay, cool, colorful pictures, but what about those colorful pictures? Why are they so great? I need to say the why, the additional detail. So, I'm going to say the pictures add detail and are very funny. Period. Now, if you have more than one sentence, that's okay. You can write one, two, four, or five sentences of detail. There's no limit. But you need to have at least one sentence of detail after your reason. All right, now I've added my, my reason and detail. I get to finish it off with my conclusion where you tie everything together. Again, in our conclusion, there's two parts. We have to restate our opinion and tell the reader to go do something now. So I'm going to write, I'm going to restate my opinion. Now you should read The Recess Queen, because I think people should be reading The Recess Queen. And then I'm going to tell my reader to go do something about it. You could also tell your reader to go do something and then state your opinion. There's no order for these two sentences. So I'm going to say grab this book and enjoy. Here is what my paper looks like now. Notice I used spaces. My writing is on the line. It's not floating in the air. I started with my capital letters and did not put any capital letters in the middle of my words. I ended with punctuation and I worked on my spelling. Okay, so now we are all done with the writing. I want to make sure you go through your writing and check check for cups or cups, don't forget to add a picture. You can bring your picture to life 
by adding movement lines, speech bubbles, lots of color, making sure it matches what you wrote. Okay, friends, we are all done with our first review. Awesome job. What I would like you to do is when you're all done, you can take a picture or send a video of you reading your writing to me tomorrow since we will not have any class. Same thing for the other first grade classrooms. Okay, friends, thank you. See you later.